Hey everyone, my name is Angela and welcome to my channel. If you're interested in seeing what I got in this month's BoxyCharm and how I created this look, then keep on watching. This month's theme is Peace, Love, and Boxy. So I got some Luxie Summer Days brush set. There are three brushes included. One of them is 209 large shader, 245 small shader, and 512 small contouring. The Luxie Summer Days three-piece brush set was curated for the perfect festival look that will last all day. Use the Luxie 512 small contouring brush to sculpt and define your cheekbones while the Luxie 245 small shader brush is perfect to pat on your base shadow and glitter. Grab the Luxie 209 large shader brush to pat on and blend out any eye look. So these three brushes are $28, so they are more than the box itself. And they are soft. And I like that little kind of like ombre sunset kind of look to it my hair is really frizzy and all over the place right now because i just took a shower artist couture it is a diamond glow powder in summer haze and i really like the packaging that it comes in i've actually never heard of this brand before so i'm excited to try it out so this packaging reminds me of the born to glow highlighter by nyx so I actually have it right here. Looks kind of similar except this one's lighter. I had to poke some holes in here because I couldn't take this top part off. So that's how it looks. This all natural, vegan and cruelty free loose powder highlight can be used on eyelids, lips, face and body. The versatile formula is highly pigmented and suitable for all skin tones. Create a subtle luminous finish or layer on for an unreal glow. I'm just gonna layer it on a little bit more. Let's see what we get. Well, we'll see how it looks on my face later. This highlighting loose powder costs $27. So the next thing I got was a lip gloss from Steve Laurent. It is in champagne. So it's kind of like a pinkish nude lip gloss. One part balm and three parts silk. This Steve Laurent gloss is never leaking your favorite purse. Formulated with creamy lip softening texture, this one of a kind hybrid gel and oil will moisturize and hydrate your lips with just one swipe. This shimmery pink nude lip gloss is $22. So the next thing in the box is this Beauty For Real Finish Line Liquid Eyeliner. It's super cute. I love the checkered feature. After taking off the plastic, the only part that's checkered is the bottom part, just like a strip. So it's in the color Jet Black. It's a 24-7 liquid eyeliner. This Finish Line 24-7 liquid eyeliner is a mistake-proof pen that creates a clean line in one steady sweep. The tapered precision brush makes it easy to apply pure, deep color from thin to thick, while intensely pigmented formula makes for 24 hours smudge and budge resistant wear. And for those who go to festivals, you know how important it is to have like a waterproof, smudge proof eyeliner because you'll be sweating and you just don't want your makeup to be messed up and all over the place because it happens to me all the time this eyeliner goes for $16 so the last item I have in the box is the festival palette by pure I love the packaging of it like it really goes with the sunset theme that they have going on with like the brush it gives you that Coachella vibe unleash the ultimate festival vibes with this limited edition 12 piece press payment palette that's complete with bold imaginative pigment that elevates your look for any occasion from boho inspired metallics to eye catching glitters, each cruelty free shade is infused with skin loving ingredients. When I open up the package, I get this Get a Grip Endurance Eyeshadow Primer. It 
to lock your eyeshadow in place and how cute is this it says treat every day like a festival like so freaking cute it has like a chocolate smell to it maybe vanilla kind of thinking of doing these two and then just adding this i don't know i'm actually not very good with doing eyeshadow i'm just now starting i've always been used to just applying like one or two eyeshadow colors to my eyelids as you can tell i don't have like i have asian eyelids obviously i don't have a lot to play with so yeah, we're just going to try it out, we're going to figure this out together, we're going to learn together, and yeah. So I'm going to use my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer to prime my eyes. <music> So I'm going to use one of my eyeshadow brushes to pack on the pink into my crease and then I'll use one of the Luxie brushes to apply the purple. As you can tell, this is very pigmented. I'm gonna bring the pink a little close to my eyebrows only cause, like I said, I don't have any eyelids and... later once we're finished with this look we're gonna use the 209 Luxie brush the big brush love how bold these colors are like these are colors I would never typically go for but I'm just gonna go back in just a little bit just get more of the wild child and bring a little bit of the pink back and blend the two colors together <laughs> try to conceal a little bit of my inner eyelids. I'm going to use a Luxie 245 small shader brush. attempted to cut my crease or whatever um i'm gonna pack the 24 magic eyeshadow into my inner eyelids i'm gonna use my finger to apply wow look at that do have to layer this on like it comes off a lot <laughs> on your fingers so i'm going to take one of my brushes and see if maybe i had better luck <laughs> This is the finished eye look. It's not perfect, but we'll get there. 
personally, I love having glitter all over my hair, my eyes, my arms, my legs, everywhere. I just love glitter. So with the Beauty For Real liquid eyeliner, I'm gonna do a little bit of a wing. some mascara using the superhero by it so I got this mascara from last month's boxycharm and I told you guys I would try it out and that's what I'm doing so yeah. so this is the finished makeup look um I like it I would wear this to a festival. All right, we are no longer up close and personal. I'm gonna use Artist Couture, the loose highlighting powder with the Luxie 512 brush. I know it's for sculpting, contouring, but we wanna make use of everything that's in the box. For the highlighter from Artist Couture, we're just gonna apply that on places where you would wanna highlight. I really really love this mirror I'm gonna use it for everything whoa <laughs> look at that you guys see that highlight I'm actually living for this highlighter. It is so pretty. The last item we need to try is the lip gloss from Steve Laurent in Champagne. We're just gonna put her on. So the lip gloss gives you like a holographic nude look to it. So one last thing, I think I'm gonna go back with the purple from the eyeshadow and I'm just gonna like dab it under my eye so you guys can use this as a festival hair and you can put like glitter in your hair if you guys want so just as a side note i think that like high small pigtails are super super cute and one of my favorite festival hair look is this but i like to tie it back so it looks like this let me go grab a hair tie so i can show you guys So something like this. I just think it's so simple and super pretty. The box itself cost $21 and I received five full-sized items and all of it together cost $129. How amazing is that? And I'm living for the palette. Like I absolutely love this palette. I hope you guys like this month's BoxyCharm unboxing and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>